Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Tesla makes some of the smartest cars in the world, but they are, as I talked about in my last video, always making innovation all the time. And the new Model Y is no exception, where Tesla has made a whole new heating system, the HVAC as they call it, which stands for heating, ventilation and air condition. But Elon's busy brain had had another idea that he would really like to put the HVAC system into houses, making cleaner air, safe energy, protect you from bacteria and other air pollutions, making a smart house that can talk to your car and much, much more. Let's take a closer look at this and let's dive right in. Tesla's next product could really turn up the heat on the houses. During a Twitter discussion about the company's new vehicle, the Model Y SUV, Elon Musk suggested that the company could take its experience building the cars to develop the HVAC system. Musk suggested that the idea could build on the work done on developing the heat pump for the Model Y. Sure would love to do home HVAC that's quiet, efficient, with humidity control and HEPA filters, Musk wrote on Twitter. When asked whether it would do cooling or heating, Musk replied, both. I'll get back to the HEPA in a minute. The idea could expand on some of Tesla's existing wins, taking the existing product portfolio and expanding it in a logical way. While Tesla is known most as a car company, Musk House of the Future presentation in October 2016 painted a more holistic picture. A Model 3 sedan charging in the garage, powered by a Tesla Powerwall battery. The battery is charged up by the power from the Tesla solar roof, creating a zero emission energy system for both home and travel. It's easy to see how the HVAC, a high energy product that draws on the system built into the Tesla vehicles, could fit into this strategy. Musk suggested a number of ideas with new product. The system could work with the vehicle to reach the perfect temperatures. House could talk to the car and know when you are expected home to set temperature, humidity, to be just perfect just as you arrive, no wasted energy. Just like Tesla does right now with the scheduled charging where the car ends its charging when you expect to be driving in the morning and have heated the car to the set temperature for your scheduled departure. So they're taking all they have learned from making these car and their software system and want to apply it to a smart home. Musk also raised the prospect of recycling some of the system's byproducts. Could maybe tap the condensation for water too. Seems odd that the HVAC systems make pure, fresh water and just dump it on the ground, Elon said. The Model Y was revealed last March as the company's latest entry-level vehicle, but the heat pump was only uncovered earlier this month in the user manual as the first car started delivering. Tesla also has experience with air management. With the launch of the Model X SUV in 2015, the company started shipping the bioweapon defense mode that can filter air from outside for circulation inside the car. Seems more useful right now in the situation the world is in right now. But anyway, the company describes it as the HEPA filtration system capable of stripping the outside air of pollen, bacteria and pollution before it enters the cabin and systematically scrubbing the air inside the cabin to eliminate any traces of these particles. 
So they could do something like this for the smart home, bringing some of the best filtration on the market to the house, making sure you breathe the best and cleanest air possible. The mode in the Model X has already helped Tesla owners reduce asthma attacks and driving away from wildfires and more to safer areas. This makes more sense than it may seem at first. Musk's goals to transition the world onto sustainable energy with the electric car, the power wall, solar roof, battery power plant, and now maybe making innovation yet again to make a better air conditioning system for your house. That would probably use less energy, recycle condensation water, cleaning the air you breathe with some of the world's best filters and protecting you from bacteria and other air pollutions. Tesla might be innovating on the house's climate control as we know it and bringing some of all their great software controls we know from the cars over to the house, making it better, smarter, safer and more efficient cooking up yet another great business opportunity for themselves. And maybe it is not such a bad time to do it, even though they are busy with ramping up production of the Model 3 in China, starting the delivery of the Model Y in the US, building a Gigafactory 4 in Berlin, and of course building the Phase 2 of the Gigafactory in Shanghai. But it looks like all this is going according to plan, so maybe they do have a little wriggle room to start looking into this business opportunity before they have to start up production of yet another product, the semi-truck later this year and the Cybertruck next year. Going to be exciting to see if Tesla can come up with many new ways to improve the house as we know it, maybe make the normal house into a truly smart house, just like they did with the car, bringing the house to the next level. Or am I just reading too much into this? Do you think they will start innovating on the smart house, starting with the HVAC system and HEPA system and going from there? Or do you think this will never take off and Tesla can't do this? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. And I need to make a big shout out to G-Skype, my new Patreon. Thank you so much for your support, G-Skype, and welcome to the community. Thank you. It means the world to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share button. It really means a lot for this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. And it's also a big support for this channel. If you want to support the channel even more, you can head over to patreon.com slash bestintesla and support the show for as little as a buck a month. It really helps out a lot. And you can also see all the perks you can get over there as a Patreon. As always, the biggest help is you watching this video. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care there and be nice.